What is up everybody? Welcome back to another Mole Man episode. Back in Namibia, Africa with my boy Drikus. Got a Kuja, a Kuya Hunting so, Safaris. Hunting Safaris. Got all the guys dialed in with their guns. I'm here to strictly bow hunt. Um, we just got in today, so I'm not gonna do a whole lot of hunting today, but uh, riding around for the other guys and see if we can't put a stock or two in. Uh, Judd and Caleb are in one truck, Heath and Jonathan are another, and then me, my dad, and Ryan are in here so we're gonna see if we can't go put a stock in before it gets dark and have a good time there's animals everywhere there's something right here kudu, That's a kudu <laughs> oh, there's a nice bull a young bull There's a yeah. Impala. <laughs> there's a Kudu Bull. And there's Drika's house. Used to be, now you're hungry. Oh, really? Yeah, back to the lodge. Got him. I already got one in Paula on the ground. <laughs> Send him a picture of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan. Thanks, dude. Hey, Jim, I seem to mind. <laughs> Okay, that's right. Yeah. Right, that's, that's we close. need to take pictures this way. Akbar, he's thin from rotting, huh? He's more reading from Tlum. First day in Africa. <laughs> got, got a kudu bull. Didn't take long. No, we were very lucky. <laughs> If you want to shoot a big kudu in uh, Africa, this obviously is the place to come. Five minutes after sighting in, find a big bull, put him down, perfect shot. And uh, now we're going back, gonna load him up and go find some more game. But I think we're eating kudu for dinner. Well done. Thank you. Dang, you know. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I feel how soft the skin of it. I'm an Impala. Just in case you weren't sure. Yeah. Wow. Dang, look out. I mean, that's pretty. Yeah. Oh man. Hey. All right, is everybody's napping right now, but uh, we took the kudu from Ryan's bull that y'all saw yesterday and our wonderful, wonderful chef here in camp, 
is going to show us how to make biltong. So, this is a kudo uh, a back fillet. We have a um, vinegar. Vinegar? Yeah, this is uh, no, this is what? Boys The vinegar, yes, vinegar. Okay. And lemons. We have our coriander already roast. So he roasted this this morning. This is the coriander. Yes. So yeah. Yeah, our salt. So. And pepper. And, and use and use a uh, powder pepper because I don't put a lot. Oh, pepper. But you can choose any one you want. Okay. Also. What we do and do the mix and we have. Take this back now. We have the black sugar, the black brown sugar. What so I do? Mix is, everything in a bowl. The bowl is about to put the preparation. Now we will put. One. Two. Three. Four. Four full uh, uh, sugar. Now here it's 500 millimeters vinegar. This is the vinegar. Yep. to mix everything. Mix. Mm. It's like coffee. You like coffee, yes. And that? So. So you layer it. You lay everyone. The kudu backstrap. Kudu back, yes. Good back, also not much. Keep stacking it. Coriander, mm -hmm. one. Another layer. What I put only one side uh, salt and things like this because we have to move every line. Uh, we will do tonight. Only, only one day in the marinade, yeah. but I, I will move it like four times. Oh, okay. So you're just gonna keep layering that salt, coriander, pepper, and then the yes. oyster shear, vinegar, and lemon. And then we're gonna let that soak overnight, and then tomorrow we're gonna, uh, you have it put it on a drying rack, or you put it outside? Do you hang it outside? Yes, we will set it, not the sun, eh? We have the, the play, we will see after the floating. Mm -hmm. It's one play where we uh, use to put the, to make our, 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 all this kind of soap. Okay. Uh, they don't come in play and things like that. Close. And then it'll take about two days to dry. So yes. uh, I'll show you tomorrow what it looks like and then we'll put it on the drying rack. And then two days after that, we'll do a taste test on it and see what it tastes like. 
So, thank you, Chef. Good Chef. Yeah, it completely changed color. Mm -hmm. So, it's the next day, guys. Just yeah. got finished eating an amazing lunch. And uh, we're about to start hanging all the bill tongue up to dry. So, he's got a box here of hooks. And uh, we'll show you where he's going to hang it up. Two days, you said? Yeah, two days. About two days. Yes, two days will be okay. So we're in the drying room. We've got a fan. You see? It blows hard on it. Take a big job. You just hang them all, huh? Yeah. We're gonna have to do this at home. Yeah. Flip them? After, after a day, do you flip them? Yeah. You turn them? No, you can't look at them. You flip them a bit. You flip them a bit. He lets them rest at night. He turns the fan off at night. But you don't have to turn them or anything. You just hang them two days. Uh, you need to be separate, one, one by one. Yeah. Like they say, don't need to turn around. But the fan, the fan is... The fans can make faster yeah. the, the, the dry and the no green fly. Yeah. So it doesn't let flies get on it. Uh, he's taking a little hook like this, piece of meat. Okay, like that. Yeah, yeah, you can put it in the middle of On the rack. So I got it all. So I got it all hung up. And uh, we'll see you on two days, do a taste test, take it off the rack, cut into it and see how it tastes. All right guys, there's a lot going on right now. Stuff I can't really show behind you, it's the, the meat trailer. Drika sells a lot of this meat and then the rest of the meat is camp meat and it's fed to all of his employees. Uh, not a single thing goes away. Everything from the hooves to the bone marrow is used uh, at Drika's place. So it's really cool to see, but um, I know it's loud. Me and my dad are gonna come try the biltong. It's been two days, so. Looking awesome. It's a little dark in here, but there we go, I'll get a little quiet. So we'll pick a, a piece that's perfect. A little bit thinner. We'll take a piece while that coriander kinda falls off, but. And then take, got this Schrade uh, replaceable blade. They're actually paired with Rage broadheads, and the, the broadheads are basically a Rage broadhead blade. Amigo! We put everything here. How are you? We're trying it. Yeah. Let's, see, let's see how good of a job you did on the Bill Tong. That's too raw, huh? Too raw. Good? Good. Okay. Good. Good. I cannot wait to do this at home you with white tail. You will do that with white tail, eh? Yep. Have to. That is delicious. Coriander. Good. You see? It's good. It's so good. One out of ten. What would you rate it? Yes. Just 10 points. 10 points? You can say yes, need salt. It don't need salt. No, it doesn't need salt. That's awesome. So, I think the problem I have at home with my jerky is I try to rush everything and I only let it sit in the marinade for like two hours. Overnight, you can yeah. taste it. In the middle, you can taste it. Yes. So, can you, can you do two days or is that too long? 
marinade. Marinade is two, day, two days better. The longer the, the, the longer the, the better. Yeah. Only so. this one because I want to be ready now before you go. Eh? Yeah. There are two days, even two days, like three nights. Eh? Yeah. Today, tomorrow night, after tomorrow, the, the next morning you could go. And this is depend on you. If you want more, more dry, you can make more dry. Yeah. The, the, the thing one is right? But it's not going to hurt you if you have it mushy. Yeah. So there you have it, folks. Biltong, how to make biltong. Um, it's one of my favorite things to eat. Way better than American jerky. Uh, so thank you, amigo. This is help. Y'all stay tuned. All the best. Go check them out. We should do it very nice in America from the white tail and other, other things. He also with the beef is very nice. Do you have an Instagram? Eh? You have Instagram? Yes. You do? Yeah. What is it? It's my old name, Miguel Ascua. Miguel, I'll type it out in the description. Y'all go check him out. Awesome chef, but y'all stay tuned. We have more videos coming from Africa. Uh, it's been an epic trip, and this is just the start of it. So y'all hit that subscribe button, hit thumbs up, and remember, eat good.